Okay, uh, class, this is uh, Professor Wilson, and I, as you know now, I will not be in class uh, on Monday morning at 9.30, so I'm recording instructions to prepare you for the test, which will be Wednesday morning, and I will be there at 9.30. This video is being prepared for both um, the 9.30 class and my online section. Both of you will be required to take the, the uh, test on Wednesday. Uh, the online class, you have some different options. You can take the test during my 9.30 class. You can come to classroom BS203. Um, you can also zoom in during that class period time in order to take the test. Then I have office hours on Wednesday from, uh, from that time, from, let's see, on Wednesday from 11, a.m. I'm sorry. Yeah, 11 a.m. until uh, three o'clock. And so you can zoom in at any of that time and take the test if you set it up with me. So you need to reply to this announcement, which is going to have this video lecture there, to what time you're going to zoom and take the test if you're in the online class. My 9.30 a.m. class, you will show up as normal at 9.30 on Wednesday to take the test. My online class, I will also give you the option for those of you that work during the day, the 7 p.m. on Wednesday evening to do a Zoom meeting with me. I have the Zoom link um, provided here above, under course information. And also, um, I need you to reply to this announcement and give me the Zoom time because if you try to Zoom at a time when I don't have a meeting open, then you can't uh, take the test. So be sure that you reply with any questions. And now I'm gonna give you your assignment that will help you uh, actually be prepared for the test. So you're gonna notice here that I'm showing you the student view and if you go down to the bottom of module one, which you know all of these assignments are to be turned in by Monday at midnight. So the online students, if you had some problems with these, I realized my lecture didn't go through, uh, or I didn't get it recorded for these four mind caps. If you um, try to do them and can only get the 50%, which I believe one student did send me an email and I just have not gone in and corrected it. But if you get the correct answer and you're still not getting 100%, I will go ahead and uh, uh, change it to 100% if you've gone in there and I can tell that you understand it. Now, what your assignment that will prepare you, you'll notice I've added a project one and it's due at a really odd time because I have you always do things on Monday night. But because we're having the test on Wednesday, here's what your assignment is. To take this project, which I will open it up here so we can look at it together. Uh, this is project one. And what I will do in your four modules, there will be four hands-on tests. And there will always be a project that you will do prior to the test date so that um, uh, you will know what to do for the test. Now, um, I believe I put all of that in there. Oh, I know something that I did leave off of that. Let me uh, go back here. Well, anyway, what this is going to what you're going to be required to do is a problem similar to this one that I want you to complete by Tuesday night and do it to the best of your ability. But those of you that want to work together on the project, like if you come to class tomorrow morning and you have somebody that you can work with together to understand the problem, that's great. If you still are having problems, 
I can uh, give you, I'm, I'm going to look at what everybody submitted, but if you have trouble submitting it and you want some help on Tuesday um, evening, I am in my office uh, Tuesday from like 11 a.m. until 5.40 when I go to class. And so I can hold a Zoom meeting, like say 5 to 5.40 to help any of you that have not been able to do this. But what this is a problem that will be similar to a word problem like you will have on your test. And it's only, there's not gonna be any branching, no loops, nothing but a sequential program. And I'm gonna be interested in how you use variables and constants. That's important because that's what we covered in the first two, two chapters there. So um, it tells you Mathis Brothers Furniture Store gets desk lamps and coffee tables from your company. Each desk lamp costs $65, each coffee table costs $155. Write a flowchart, pseudocode, and Python source code for a program, which Mathis Brothers can run on your website to compute what their invoice total will be when they order a certain number of lamps and coffee tables from your company. So it says here to use constant variables where appropriate. So if you remember what constants are, they are variables that don't change values. So you can tell in this problem so that they have given you two constants right here. So you would label the variable and remember it's usually in all caps. And uh, it tells you the program will prompt Mathis Brothers. So that tells you there's going to be an input statement. And it will ask the, the buying clerk to enter the number of desk lamps they wish to purchase and then ask them the number of coffee tables they would buy. Then the program would compute the cost of their purchase and print that to the console. This problem is an extension of the problem of multiplying two numbers, except here you would need to do two separate multiplications and add the numbers re resulted from them. So if you use um, the value, like you say, you ask the user, this is if after you've written the program, this is what would print out to the screen. So when you ask the user for input, you would say how many desk lamps, they are $65 per unit. And how many coffee tables, they are 155 per unit, do you wish to buy? And then you say, enter the number of desk lamps you wish to buy. So that's your input, your first input statement. And if they enter, we're gonna assume that the user enters a two, then, then the next input, so there'll be two input statements. Second one asks for coffee tables, there's three. So then you would do your calculation in your program and then you would output. The cost of merchandise you bought is $595. Okay, now we have not talked about how to put um, a dollar sign here in front. But if you look that up, like say at W3 schools, or you do some research and figure out how to do that, um, you get extra points. But I do not count it wrong if you do not put the dollar sign and the decimal point there. This is like if you run it again with five and six, this is what you should get. So these are just test runs. They have nothing to do with your coding. And here's what you would submit. Go into Lucidchart, create your flowchart and pseudocode, and I've done a couple of videos on that, and save it, remember, as a PDF. Do not send me a link to your Lucid chart. I show in the videos how to, do, how to um, save as a PDF. Next, you would also create your Python and submit the Python file but before you, I want the Python script, but I also want a screenshot like you did before uh, whenever you do the uh, video with the variables, the guy on the video that you see. So then these are the number of points possible, 25 points possible. You get nine points for the flowchart, nine points for the pseudocode, two points if you name all these files correctly and five points for the Python. Now you'll notice I haven't given you as much because I'm not as interested on this first one. 
<coughs> that you do the Python as much as I am that you understand the logic, which that will show me whether you do or not between the, on the flow chart and the pseudocode. And then um, you will submit the Python also. And if it doesn't work, but the logic is correct, you just missed some kind of Python stuff, then you still get three points for it. Okay, so remember, if you have any questions or you would like to meet with me um, on Tuesday at five o'clock before the test on Wednesday, then send me an email and I'll be sure and be in a Zoom meeting then to answer any of your questions. Otherwise, I expect this to be submitted uh, by Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Okay, and so there's your submit assignment and it, it has to be submitted then if you want me to grade it before the test so you can see what you did right or wrong because that's exactly what will be on the test. Okay, so if you have any questions, give me uh, an email. And please, please, every online student, reply to this announcement that you did see it and when you plan on taking the test. And also my <laughs> 930, <laughs> excuse me, lecture student, uh, reply also that you watched the video and you understand what then that you will submit this by 11.59 Tuesday night for a grade and I will also uh, give you video feedback on on that project. Well y'all have a great day and I will see you on Wednesday unless I talk to you to, on Tuesday. And I also uh, possibly can do a Zoom meeting on Monday night. Just email me if you're struggling with this assignment or have questions.